So guess what we are doing today? So we are in York Peninsula and we are trying to find some pink legs. Yep, so there's a, yeah we have, we have. <laughs> there's a whole trail here uh, that you could follow and there are so many pink legs over here. They are in different shades, um, different colours as well. There were some which were orange as yeah, well. and some were colourless as well. Yeah. <laughs> but we're really happy because if you remember our first uh, vlog in South Australia, mm -hmm. um, the first thing we did was we went to a pink lake. which was out the Lake McDonald. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it wasn't pink if you remember. But uh, these ones here there are so many around and I can confirm that they are pink. So if you want to find some pink flakes you should come to your page. <laughs> yeah, know. there's a whole trail. I think there's about four trails. Uh, there's a full tour, you know, short one. So depending on how much time you have and uh, you know the distance that you want to travel, you can pick uh, which one you like. We are trying to do the full tour uh, but it's a bit of an overcast day. Yeah, so you need like a lot of sun, like a direct sun uh, just to get the colors out. Yeah, exactly. And, um, it's not the exactly um, the good weather or the best weather weather but we, we saw the pink of this like you know, this lake in particular but the others not so much yeah there were some which just looked white uh, it <laughs> just looked like salt uh, but what we're gonna do is just drive around see you know what we can find and uh, yeah if the weather is really bad we might even come again tomorrow yeah before we leave here but we are now in a kind of a time rush because yeah. we have to <laughs> we've always been in a time, time rush because <laughs> We always just take a lot of time and we waste a lot of time in one place. Not waste, but like, you know, it takes time to take the camera out, the drone out. Yes. And if you're in the mood to like to fly the FPV out and it's, it, it's, it's a whole process. Yeah, and so we want to enjoy it for ourselves as well. So we take time to kind of experience yeah. it and then film it as well. So that does take a bit of time. Yeah, at least an hour or so. And uh, yeah, so we, we have to go to another national park as well, which we have a booked a campsite. And uh, yeah, that's the plan for today. That's the plan, so come along with us if you want to see some pink lakes which are actually pink. Yeah. <laughs>
So what's for dinner, Vanya? <laughs> Just salad. <laughs> We're having bunny food. <laughs> Kosala needs to eat his vegetables, so I'm making him eat salad. But no, we do have some. What's over there? It's <laughs> over there. It's very windy there, so So we are having garlic bread and pork curry, which I made the other day. Nice. seeing a red light after ages. Mm. <laughs> Feels weird. <laughs> Did you miss the traffic? No. I missed. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey guys. <laughs> so guess where we are? We, we are, are, are in, in Adelaide. Adelaide. <laughs> we timed it perfectly. I know, yeah, we didn't even plan it, but that came perfectly. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it feels, it, it's really nice to be um, kind of in a city again, but uh, at the same time, it feels really weird, isn't it? It felt really weird when you're coming into the city, like you know, driving on the freeways and highways. And uh, we haven't been in a proper city for like a month now. Yeah. And the largest town that we've come across, it, it, it ended like within like two or three minutes. That's how large it was. So yeah, you go and uh, you see the start done. of the town, and then like in two minutes, yeah. it's done. That's and it. Some towns are just roadhouses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's nice to be in a city. Nice to finally see shops that you recognize. <laughs> yes. What are the plans? Yeah, okay, so we have a lot of things that we need to do. Um, things to buy. We need to do a Definitely little bit of... We need to go to Bunnings. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> to, wants to go to a Bunnings yeah, wherever to, he sees one. I kind of want to change the... Um, uh, want to get a storage box for the compressor. Mm. And then uh, need to buy a kind of a stove. Like it's called a jet boil that we have seen uh, very uh, so much good reviews on it mm. and uh, so planning to get one of those because we hate taking the stove out just to boil water to make a cup of coffee or tea. Yeah and sometimes because of that we just end up not having coffee or tea <laughs> just because it's such a hassle to take the stove out, it's such yeah. a small thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah and uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of sneaky shopping because Kosala does have to get a, get a new sweater as well. A new hoodie in this scorching hot summer, but still. <laughs> it gets really cold at uh, night. Yeah, so we decided like it's the best time to buy a hoodie because they are on sale now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like yeah. Some are like 40% off. <laughs> like, and we have great. the dumb people walking in and buying <laughs> hoodies and beanies. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we gotta do that. Kosala is gonna get a haircut, hopefully. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, the elephant in the room and uh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm doing something really exciting. Okay, so um, I mean my friends know this but I don't think I ever mentioned it on uh, this channel. Um, uh, back in Perth I used to, um, for fitness, do pole dancing. Uh, Not the one that you see in movies. I thought so. <laughs> and that was a really great mistake from my side. I thought that she's going to do that kind of pole dancing. It's not that boy, kind of pole dancing. <laughs> so, um, uh, you know, just to give you a little bit of a background, when I um, came to Australia and moved to Perth, um, I did a couple of jobs and uh, one of those jobs was um, working for a skydiving company and it was owned by this really um, cool family uh, and yeah so the my manager who was a lady um, she's amazing um, shout out Amy if you're watching this <laughs> but <Hey> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so she uh, was doing pole dancing you know um, for fitness and uh, one day she was looking at these photos of her um, uh, from a pole dancing photo shoot and she was like oh do you want to see and I had a look and I just fell in love so even back when I was in Sri Lanka I had seen videos of you know pole dancers I think uh, if you watch Got Talent you always see these amazing pole dancers come there and uh, yeah I've always seen those and I've always thought that's really cool but um, you know uh, back where I'm from in Sri Lanka there are not uh, many studios there's none at all um, at least at that time so you know when she told me about it I was really keen so interested so I went to a studio I went to a trial class and um, yeah I just fell in love and Kosala <laughs> I think yeah I think he thought it's gonna be something very exotic so he bought me a pole for my um, home back in Perth um, Which we had it in, in the middle of the living room so. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of space so you know we were in a studio apartment so I had the pole up right in the middle over there 
Um, but yeah, long story short, um, I've been doing it for about two years now and it's really fun. It's great for your fitness. Um, so I know especially um, in some countries, some cultures, there's a bit of a stigma around it. Uh, but um, the way I see it is obviously like everyone has the freedom to do whatever they want. And this is something which is so fun, um, a really nice way to express yourself and also, you know, get fit at the same time. And all my friends, my family uh, have been so supportive of it, uh, especially my mom. She, I think she's my biggest fan. I always send her videos of my pole dancing to her and she loves it. Um, she always says be safe when I do all these um, risky tricks. But um, yeah, anyway, so um, when we started thinking of going on this trip, um, I was really excited to travel because obviously, you know, I, we love traveling. But the one thing that I thought I knew that I'm going to miss is pole dancing. And um, for the longest time, I tried to figure out a way to take a pole with me. <laughs> uh, there is a pole that you could take along with you, but it's There's very, very, no very way heavy. That was happen. It's like 100 kilos. <laughs> yeah, it was 100 kilos. And Kosala just had a look and said, no, definitely not. Um, but yeah, you know, then I thought, okay, whenever we come to a town, um, like a city where there is a pole studio, I'm gonna go there and do a little bit of practice um, so yeah I'm not the best at it uh, definitely uh, but I think I've come to like an intermediate level and I do want to keep at it so that I don't lose my progress um, so yeah the plan is right now um, I saw that there was a studio in the city and I did call them up and I booked um, the studio so I'm gonna go and see um, you know how I'm doing right now whether I've lost my fitness um, so yeah follow along maybe I'll show you a little bit <laughs> because um, I'm definitely feeling a lot tired than I used to feel those days uh, but yeah it feels great to practice after such a long time uh, but yeah I have to make a pact you know promise myself whenever I get the chance that I need to um, go to a studio and practice a lot more just so I don't uh, lose all my progress uh, but yeah that was fun Kosala show them your haircut so this is the only place you can get a haircut so. <laughs> But I think because we had it in the city, you said it was quite expensive, wasn't it? It was $45. <laughs> you know, and they give a wash as well. So that's <laughs> Why did they give a wash? Did you stink? Maybe. <laughs> they suggested it. <laughs> and I got my eyebrows done. I don't know if you can see. Kosala never notices it, but girls know. Nobody does. You feel much better when you get your eyebrows done. <laughs> Traffic. I got 90 meters or 80 meters to take a left turn and I'm in the right turn. <laughs> Why are you in this lane? Because I'm not from Adelaide. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a safe in Perth, Kosala. You just stuffed up. <laughs> also, there are trams here. Yeah. Reminds us of the Melbourne. Most I don't hate a thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when we were in Melbourne, we did not like it. <laughs> And then we left Adelaide. To be honest, we didn't record much of our day in the city because it was quite busy and we didn't want to invade on people's privacy. 
and it was quite nice to have a day to ourselves before we set out to our next stop. <laughs>